Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shop today. If you're tight on money on sprinkler parts, or maybe you want to just not go to the store and just get one item, I'm going to show you today how you can save just a tiny bit, but it takes a little bit of your time. This is a, a uh, freeway. Water flows in, goes either out this way or out that way. Once you uh, find out that you need to get just this part, because you don't want to buy this part, you can do this. You can chisel it all out, hit it with a hammer, and cut into it like this, down into it, and then before you know it, you can get it out and basically uh, you can just... Uh, chisel it out a little bit if, you, if you're careful without scoring into it too much. So once you do that, I'll show you what you can do next. Then you get to your sprinkler repair. <clears throat> And uh, you take your piece, and then you got your primer and your uh, PVC glue, or you can buy Christie, hot Christie. This PV gets a little messy. It likes to pee all over the place. And you put a little on here, a little bit on there. I like to put on the edge. It's a primer, and this is going to be threaded on here this deal and a barb and you put your primer on and then you uh, close that up a little bit so you don't accidentally maybe tip it over or something like that and you open up your your nasty stuff all that key suka as fridge put that on there a little on the edge I like to do that a little bit around here a little bit on there, okay. And close that up a little bit so you don't. And you gotta hurry and decide what you're gonna do. You gonna go this way or that way? I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way this time on this and push it on there. And start sealing. That's how quick it is. See, look at it. It's already starts hardening up. You kind of gotta be quick. And this is how you repair your own sprinklers. Uh, I had to do this because I was getting a foundation lift. And I had to take all this dirt and use the excavator to uh, clean it all out. Sometimes the sprinklers are right there, and you know it. But sometimes the excavator really needs to get down there, and it hits and just breaks it. So, so what? Uh, you just basically just cap it off when you're, uh, after you broke it. These are only 53 cents to a buck. Big deal. And then uh, I decided to just show you how you can uh, take one of these. I've already replaced other parts. But you can put this on here. And then uh, when you get done... You don't have much money or, or you don't have the part of this flexi tubing that's slack you basically can just cut right here with your razor and then uh, get it so it can come out because it's really hard to pull this off of here I haven't been able to do it that good but anyway once you get that cut off then you stick it on here and thread it on and slide your hose on and then you'll have your sprinkler right there again other than that that's basically how you do your little DIY uh, sprinkler repair Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day.